Hello friends, today is a very special day because it's 6th of June. 75 years ago, almost 160,000 soldiers crossed the channel to liberate Europe from German troops. For me, it's one of the most interesting subjects, uh, like a modeler, because uh, there are many kind of vehicles, not, not only the, the German side, but especially the American one, and especially the very rare vehicles like the DD Sherman, the duplex drive Sherman, the amphibious one. And today I wanted to do something special, uh, a special tip, something very simple, that, that, but maybe you like it, because it's uh, how to create water effects, the rain marks, the, the water marks that appear in the side of the tanks when they are coming out from the water and it's a very interesting uh, effect that not too many people do it be because not everybody is so brave to do that effect because you can destroy your, your Sherman or your vehicle. So today I want to explain you how to do it uh, using this, uh, this product, the wet effect, uh, and you will see how easy and how simple it is uh, to do that. Uh, also talking about American subjects, because uh, the American side in, in Normandy is also my favorite. I like Canadians or, or, or British, but especially the American ones. Um, I recommend you uh, this kind of templates. Uh, those are photo age templates to make the, the stars and the circles in your tanks. And I want to use them to make a, a little example in one plastic part, uh, just to, to show you how to use the, the wet effects. Well, maybe you know that book, it's a, a book about Shermans. And here you can find some examples about uh, what I am talking about. In, in, in this example, you can see the rhyme marks in the, in the side plates. And it's what I want to do. Please, let's go to celebrate uh, this uh, anniversary and one more time, hello to all my friends who, uh, who like this, uh, this subject, Normandy and the water effects. Okay, to make the wet effects, of course you need uh, the wet effect product, uh, is the reference number 2015. And uh, this is an enamel product, but it's not a varnish. This means that you cannot use this product to apply a coat of varnish in your vehicles or to do any other thing. It's only to make the wet effects. Because it is an enamel product, you will need also the odorless thinner that will be useful to clean your brass or your tools, or if you want to blend the product or to make any kind of transition or another effects. Finally, you will need also a fine brass. This is three zeros. Uh, and we will draw the lines uh, of the wet effects in the surface. I painted uh, a couple of uh, plastic parts uh, with olive green uh, over one shot black primer. And I painted the, the stars simulating a uh, Sherman tank or any other Allied vehicle. Uh, also, I added uh, a subtle coat of dust in the inferior areas, right here and here, just to simulate also the, the dust condition, because we must apply the wet effects over uh, the dust, almost in the final stage of your, the process of weathering in your model. Don't do before the dust, must be always the last effect together with the oil um, and grease effects. So, we will make two examples, one wrong and another one the correct, so you will see the difference. Just take a little of uh, wet effect product and paint it directly over the surface. In the beginning, just try to make lines, very thin lines. Don't try to make it uh, too big and try to make it irregular with different movements like this. Make another line. Also, you can join uh, both lines together. This is very typical from the water. Okay. We can make also bigger lines of the of water falling down to down in this way. If you want bigger, just enlarge the, the size. 
always try to combine uh, small lines with bigger ones, like this, like this, and try to be random. Don't repeat the same lines continually. This will be the, the brown version. Also, we can make another ones coming from the bottom to the top. Okay, you can see how the, the wet effects is giving a nice look. If you are working over pigments, you will see that the pigments try to absorb the, the product very fast. But uh, if the, the wet effects get a matte appearance or matte look, just repaint over it one more time to make it more shiny. Remember that this is not glossy, it's not matte, it has a special look that makes it uh, look like, like water. So, Remember that the most important is try to combine different size of lines, vertical lines, a very irregular lines with different movements like this. You can see the effect right now. And when you do that in a tank, trust me that the look is very realistic. And the people like it. When the people see in the contest a model painted in this way, the people really like it. If you are working in horizontal surfaces, of course you cannot make those kind of lines. You must make a, a kind of clothes shapes. because in horizontal surfaces you cannot uh, make uh, lines, obviously. If it's enough with one coat, I don't recommend you to apply another one over it, because as you can see there are different intensities eh? and this is what makes realistic this effect, especially when it reflects the light, you can see all lines that I painted and now uh, you see without the reflection of the light it uh, takes a very nice and reality, realistic uh, appearance. Well, like I told you, I made one correct and the other one brown, like you can see here. This one, the first one, is brown. It's, uh, brown shape, brown size and brown intensity. Uh, you can see some big accumulations and uh, very regular and similar lines which make it uh, very unrealistic and not nice. The other one is the first one that I made and you can see that the, the intensity is correct. You can see effect of wet and humidity with different kind of lines, very irregular, different shapes, and very random. So, here you have the two examples. In case that you want to make in your model, remember, try to make very random lines with different shapes, different intensities, avoid the excessive of accumulation, like in that case, and uh, try to avoid uh, too much repetitive lines uh, with the same intensity, same size, and same shape. Okay, that's all. So easy, right? Well, uh, that's all, my friend. Uh, as you can see, it's something so simple, it's not necessary special abilities. Just with a brush, with the product, you can do that effect. 
and could be useful, remember, not only for Normandy tanks, of course, but uh, vehicles crossing a river in the Pacific uh, or in a modern tank, or even vehicles under the rain. Eh? So please use it for many purposes and you will see how your model become more interesting. And one more thing, uh, today uh, also we wanted to celebrate this, uh, this day uh, by making a, a little contest for all of you, just because we want to see your models um, what you made related with Normandy. So we started a new contest that you can, you can send us the photos. Remember, just send three, four photos of your model and participate in the, in the contest. Uh, you have uh, enough time until uh, 13 of, uh, of June, from 6 today until 13 of June. If you are a, a, a modeler who, has, uh, who are watching this video uh, too late, <laughs> maybe in the future, uh, don't worry because uh, very often we make more contests and, and continually we are, uh, we are trying to push to the modelers to participate and to finish their models. And that's all. I hope to see your models. We will publish in our Facebook, in Instagram, don't forget it. And just to, to finish that short video, I want to, to say a, a special hello uh, with, uh, from a hair to three special guys from America. They are James Powell from Los Angeles, um, Carl Horner and uh, Chris Moscrow from Missouri. For them and for their friends who were working in the Normandy dioramas, if you remember, probably yes. Uh, please, uh, hello from Spain, I really meet you guys and um, thank you for the nice moments and, and beautiful talking that, uh, that we had in that time in Los Angeles. So, bye bye friends, thank you and let's go!